Bill Ransford and I'm here for my Saturday morning ride. Gonna go down to the beach and back for about 44 miles. Everybody have a good day. Enjoy the picnic. All right, take it easy. All right, bye go. Bye. Have a good day. <clears throat> Right here. Oh, you're such a photo hog there, Bill. <laughs> exactly. Just Hello. <laughs> Uh, magandang umaga, uh, Mayo Buntag, uh, we are broadcasting live here at the uh, Yuba Regional Park here in uh, Anaheim. Anaheim Hills, California, where we have right here uh, si Madam po, uh, Tess Castro. Si Madam uh, Tess Castro, ang ating, uh, ano pong role natin dito, Madam uh, Cast Tess Castro? Uh, I am the LA GK LA Coordinator. Uh, she's, she's the uh, LA Coordinator. Once again, it's a beautiful day today. Today is... Uh, April the 18th, 2015, uh, ang sarap ng araw dito sa Yorba um, Regional Park at saka si, nandito si Tess uh, Castro. Alright, can you ask something about this, uh, what's going on today, uh, today's event, uh, Madam Castro? Magandang araw po sa lahat. Uh, today we celebrate the 10th year anniversary of CICAD, uh, Cycling for the Nation, a project of Garbag Kalinga volunteers in the Los Angeles area. Today we registered close to 400 uh, bikers who will run 24, 44 and 64 miles uh, in a bike route that we, has been established. Tapos we have about 95 volunteers who will help serve, uh, set up, register and um, uh, serve food to our bikers and our volunteers. Uh, it is also Gawad Kalinga's 11th year and uh, so there's many reasons to celebrate and precisely why on this 10th anniversary we have invited our founder the, and um, visionary for Gawad Kalinga who has thought it is about time we uh, put our faith into action uh, patunayan natin ang pagmamahal sa bayan at sa mga kababayan and therefore Gawad Kalinga is a very strong movement that helps uh, uh, eradicate uh, poverty in the Philippines Ms. our guest uh, of honor is going to speak uh, more about it and um, so may I introduce to you without uh, much ado our beloved Tony Meloto founder, visionary of Gawad Kalinga. Tito? Right. Uh, okay. I guess we have uh, the founder of uh, this uh, Gawad Kalinga. Uh, okay. Uh, good morning, Mr. Tony Minuto. I guess you're the founder. Uh, how are you? How are you doing today? Uh, I'm fine. Uh, very beautiful day, Ray. And uh, so many uh, uh, people uh, the sweating it out to not only to get good exercise and to also uh, just uh, uh, practice the love for biking but uh, this is all going to a good cause no and uh, we're happy that uh, that for the last 10 years CCAD has grown uh, not only in terms of uh, membership in terms of uh, the events annual events but in terms of helping uh, the, the motherland so maraming uh, naitutulong ang mga bikers natin not only because of the CICAD annual event but in their in own personal capacity 
they have uh, uh, been uh, heroes uh, in their own communities uh, to give back to the country where many of them come from. And the good thing is that their friends also from different countries are helping out. Right, Mr. Uh, Mr. Tony Miloto, uh, paano mo ba paano mo ba na na discover itong itong uh, bikers? Uh, paano ba nagumpisa to? Yung mga original kasi na bikers nito 10 years ago, were all active volunteers of Gawad Kalinga. And uh, so uh, for the last 10 years I've been coming to the United States dahil uh, more than 300 uh, Gawad Kalinga villages were were built with the help of Philippine Americans and their friends. And uh, SICAD uh, started out by using uh, biking as a way of building schoolhouses and also whole villages. Uh, but many of their own organizers and uh, participants have helped uh, the Philippines in many ways uh, through Gawad Kalinga. Uh, this is great. Very, very, very nice. So, uh, dito sa LA, um, ilan ang mga members natin dito? Uh, tulad yan yung uh, ngayon, mga al almost 400 na ang nandito na, na, na who have participated in this event. But many more who are, are not here uh, sa iba't ibang, uh, sa iba't ibang uh, bahagi na Amerika and some are even abroad. Uh, but uh, over the years, hindi lamang yung mga nag-attend ng, ng sikat na biking event, but ma marami sa kanila na they bring the spirit also of SICAD and uh, Gawad Kalinga wherever they are in the world. And the good thing, just like uh, the, uh, SICAD here na marami ng mga, mga non-Filipinos are participating, Gawad Kalinga now is also attracting a lot of uh, an international team because the Philippines now is the second fastest growing economy in the world. At ang nangyayari dito dahil ang nakatulong din na ang Gawad Kalinga ay hindi wa ng mahirap at those who are successful in the Philippines or abroad uh, they help the country and so today we even have foreigners here with us no yes, that would be nice yes so i would like to introduce uh, Tom with si Tom ay sinulat niya yung librong The Genius of the Poor which uh, to many believe is the best book written by a non-Filipino about the Philippines okay so maybe Tom can show a copy of his book. <laughs> uh, I'd like to introduce to the Filipino audience uh, Tom Graham, uh, formerly a writer for Newsweek and who has decided to, uh, to stay in the Philippines and travel around the Philippines in Gawad Kalinga communities. And he has written one of the most touching books about our country, The Genius of the Poor. Thank you, Tito. Uh, yes, yeah, so I, I arrived in the Philippines about three years ago expecting to stay a couple of months. I was there doing a business um, on, uh, on this country, on one of the fastest growing economies uh, in Asia. And uh, yeah, just before I was about to go home, I ended up uh, interviewing Tito Tony. And I became so inspired by the vision of Gawad Kalinga um, and by all of these people that were working with Tito Tony, these social entrepreneurs who were uh, living lives with so much purpose and passion that I ended up quitting my job um, for uh, international magazines and instead journeying for one year uh, with GK communities all across the country. So I went uh, from Mindanao, Bisayas and Luzon uh, and I, I became truly inspired by the, by the heroes that I met in these communities and by the Bayanihan spirit uh, which I, which I um, uncovered in every single village I went to. So um, I ended up uh, writing my, about my experiences in the book, uh, The Genius of the Poor, which is all about a journey with my one year journey with Gawad Galinga. And uh, now I've set up uh, my social enterprise, which is uh, called Mad, uh, Mad for the Philippines, uh, Make a Difference um, for the Philippines. And it's all about uh, social tourism. So we want people to come to the Philippines, not only because it's more fun, but because it really can be more fulfilling um, in the country as well. Uh, so we want people to come to the Philippines and to um, uh, contribute to something, to connect to these amazing communities, because it's, it's not enough just to read about the communities. We want people to be able to um, experience them themselves. So thank you very much, and I hope you can come and visit us soon. All right, thank you so much. And I guess we have another guest over here, Mr. Melodov. 
and uh, that's Tom from the, uh, England. Now we have uh, Fabian from the Philippines, who is uh, building also the toy industry in the Philippines. And uh, he has lived in the Philippines for the last four years. Uh, here's Fabian. Hi, good morning everyone. So my name is Fabian. As Tito Tony mentioned, I've been in the Philippines for four years. I'm part of the Gawat Keninga Enchanted Farm team. And I'm also working with the mothers in the Philippines that unfortunately have lost their job for the past 10 years. So they have a lot of sewing skills, garment experience. So we started making those stuffed toys with them. We're trying to come up with Filipino inspired stuffed toys. And this watermelon is actually named Mani Pakwan. And if you're interested to find out about the other stuffed toys, you can look for us on Facebook, Twitter. It's called Plush and Play. And we have a website called plushandplay.com. Thank you. Right, that, that was very cool. My Pac uh, Pacman or Pacal? Pacwan. Pacwan, okay. <laughs> right, good. And, and, and finally, we have also a social entrepreneur from the Philippines. She was chosen as the social entrepreneur of the, by the year in Switzerland by Swab Foundation, the World Economic Forum, and Ernst and Young. So she is now uh, the founder of, uh, together with her sister and brother in law, of the fastest rising social enterprise in the Philippines, making natural and organic. Uh, uh, personal care and cosmetics. Uh, Camille Miloto. Hi, I'm inspired by the dream of my father and how he introduced love for our country and love for the Philippines to all of us. Uh, me, my sister, and my brother-in-law started this social enterprise. Um, we've started six years ago, turning seven years now. So we come up with natural, organic, um, personal care and home care products. Um, if you want to learn more, we are uh, active in six farming Filipino communities. Aside from that, we have um, just we started with three people, now we already have around 340 employees. Um, so just to show you, we have these products. And if you want to learn more, you can just go to www.humanheartnature.com slash US. Again, that's www.humanheartnature.com slash US. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much uh, for the information. Uh, Mr. Meloto. Yes. All right. That's thank right. you. Thank you. Thank you so much once again, right. Mr. Moro. Uh, dagang salamat. Dagang salamat. Yes, dagang salamat. Yeah. <laughs> okay, dagang salamat, Mr. Miloto. Uh, founder natin sa Gawad Kalinga. Uh, uh, once again, here in Anaheim, California. Uh, back to you guys. All right. Thank you. Thank you, thank you once again. Thank you, thank you sir. Yuba Regional uh, Park here in Anaheim, California. This is RC007, Ray Rakal reporting back to you in the studio. Okay. Ice bakayo dyan. Nice lang. Enjoying frying. What are you doing? Cooking some. Frying the lumpia. The chicken lumpia.